what is going on 10% and in today's video I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make your very own clean outro in Sony Vegas um, yeah, this is going to be really easy to do. If you guys don't have Photoshop, you can make it in Sunny Vegas. It'll be a very simple one, but like it'll look good. So for you guys who don't have Photoshop, like I said, or other types of uh, softwares, then you can use Sony Vegas to make any type of graphics, basically. But obviously, it won't be as advanced as stuff in Photoshop. So before we get started, can we hit 60 likes on this video today? Uh, keep up the awesome support on my channel, guys. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, big shout out to these two guys on the screen for suggesting this video on how to make an outro in uh, Sony Vegas, or how to make an outro. And if you guys want to be featured, at the start of one of my videos, make sure you leave a suggestion down below and you've got we'll have a chance of being featured. And with that being said, let's get started. So guys, when you first get into Sunny Vegas, you guys want to open a new document by going to File New, and then basically just copy down these um, settings right here. So I put 920 by 1080 and all that uh, simple stuff. Most of it's already there. And then when you open it, um, you have all this. As you can see, you got video effects, media generators like all these type of stuff which is what we will be using today in the video there's like solid colors um, titles and text art type of stuff and transitions um, and video effects so first of all when we start we want to go over and grab a grunge texture off Google so just type in HD grunge backgrounds 1920 by 1080 and you can choose any of these but I think I'm gonna go with this one right here it looks really nice so just save it into your like files and stuff so I'll just save it here and then once you've done that you can just drag it in or you can just go to file and open it up so you want it to be about 10 seconds long or something the outro nothing too long so like so as you can see it says 10 seconds there um, and then once you've done that you want to go to media generators and we're just gonna add like a, a little black to white so it'll look pretty cool so I'm just going to do something like this by dragging it around and then once you've done that you can go over to here and you can bring down the opacity uh, like in Photoshop so something like that you don't want it to be t you don't want it to stand out too much and then once you've done that you can add, you can actually add a color to it if you want so just drag this on like so um, and you can also ch choose the colors so I think I'm going to go with like a bluey purple so something like that and then like that so this looks really cool uh, and then once you've done that if you click on this thing right here you can actually change the um, like overlay settings so I'm going to change this overlay and then just bring down the opacity of it to about 50% something like that so that looks pretty good so far <clears throat> and then once you've done that um, we're just going to add some text so like I said guys this is going to be very simple it's not for advanced uh, it's not like an advanced tutorial, so just go to titles and text, I think, just go to text, I mean, uh, and then go to soft shadow. Uh, and then basically you can put your name right here, so I'm just going to put Timpers. Uh, I'm going to put it in all capitals. And then once you've done that, I'm going to change the font. You can choose, you can like, get some off uh, the internet and stuff like that, but I'm just going to use impact, because I think it looks pretty good. And then once you've done that, go to placement, and then change it to... Um, you can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to put it top center, but I'm also going to move it up a little bit, like so, something like that. Uh, and then once you've done that, um, you want to do the same thing again, so just drag it in, place it at the top, and then go to and change it to thanks for watching, or thank you for watching, something like that. And then full, uh, exclamation mark. Um, and then we want to change the font again to impact, so just impact and then we're just going to go over to placement again and we're going to put it to bottom center uh, and we're also going to change the font size to something like what's that's what it looks like so far so uh, about 36 looks good but uh, when you go back to placement bring it down a bit more a bit lower down something like that it looks pretty good so far if you want you can do social media links and stuff like that <clears throat> but I'm just going to do this so go to solid color um, and just bring it on and basically we're just going to bring down the size so you want to go make sure these two are checked and then just bring down the size of it something like that but you want it to be a bit lower down 
or something like that. And that's basically where you can put your videos. Uh, I'm just going to change this to overlay. In fact, no, just change, leave it the same so it sorts alpha. Uh, but basically, that's where you're going to be putting your videos. So you can either go to File, Import, Media, or you can just go and find it on your desk, desktop. But right here, you need to go find a video. So I've just uploaded my 3K trailer video, it's pretty funny. And basically, I'm just going to import that on. And you can see over here in Projects Media that it's over here. And then you can just drag it on. And then once you've done that, um, you just I'm just going to change the size of it, something like this. So it fits it perfectly. And then once you've done that, click this box right here, if you didn't see it, this thing. And then go to the start. If I go a bit in front because you actually can't see it, so... All you've got to do is just make it, you make it bigger on the screen, but when you actually see it on uh, the recording over here, it actually looks smaller. So it's kind of like a reverse, so the bigger you make it, the smaller it gets. So you kind of want to make it fit, like so. So yeah, that's about it for the video, guys. Um, I don't know if there's anything else, um, this is just a really simple outro, if you guys need one and you don't have one at the moment, you can just make one really simply on Sony Vegas, but also this will work definitely on a lot of different other editing programs, it's really cool. If you want guys, go and drag this on as well, um, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, and then if you bring down the opacity, it gives it like a outer shadow or something like that. So yeah guys, uh, I'm just going to play it through and as you can see, um, it just plays the video down at the bottom. But yeah guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, tutorial on how to make your very own outro. Um, make sure you smash the like button guys, can we hit 60 likes on this video. Uh, comment down below what you guys want to see from me in my next video. Um, and also guys, make sure you subscribe, let's get to 3k. And I'll see you guys in the next video.